Magazine Tour. Singapore is a haven for epicures wanting to realize their fantasy of tasting all the world's delicious cuisines in one place. But amid the wide spectrum of various cultures, the unique characteristics of Singaporean cuisine stand out. We introduce mud crab, Singapore's representative dish, as well as the country's various sauces. One of nature's wonderful gifts and a great green food indeed, avocados. Avocados are rich in various minerals and vitamins. Check out today's healthy dishes, which are made with one of the most nutritious fruits in the world, avocados. You know, various festivities are always taking place around the world. And at festivals, you see a lot of crazy looking costumes, fun dances, and one other thing, food. So in a sense, all of you who are watching right now are at a festival also. So you are with yours truly, Jake, on a cuisine tour of a global food festival. So are you ready to sit back and enjoy the ride? Well then, what are you waiting for? Let's go! A small island in the southern tip of Southeast Asia, Singapore. Various ethnicities and cultures live side by side, and the local cuisine offers a wide range of flavors as well. Singapore is a heaven for tourists, offering entertainment for the eyes and palate. The Singapore food is often influenced by the influence of the Chinese or Indian culture, so it has a strong taste and a strong taste. That's what I would say. The mix of various cultures contributes to the development of Singaporean cuisine. Different types of food come together to create something completely new. We take a cuisine tour to Singapore. The main ingredient of Singaporean cuisine is seafood. Low-priced seafood from countries nearby all flow into Singapore, which makes seafood very affordable. When you're talking about Singaporean cuisine, you can't leave out the mud crab. Mud crab is a truly Singaporean dish, as it's born in the area. The dish reflects the local special love for crabs. 사면이 바다라서 해산물을 이용한 요리가 굉장히 많은데 그 중에서도 최고로 치는 게 머드 크랩 요리라고 할수 있습니다. 네, 싱가포르에서는 거의 뭐 흔하게 접할 수 있는 요리고요. The mud crabs are caught in Sri Lanka across the Indian Sea. The crabs have less fat compared to Malaysian crabs or Thai crabs. 이배 쪽을 보면 상태가 상태를 볼수 있는데 이 배가 이게 황토색 빛이 나고 그럴수록 이 살이 좀 탱탱하고 맛도 좋고요. 그리고 예, 이런 식으로 색깔이 하얗고 그럴수록 맛도 떨어지고 살의 상태도 별로 안 좋지 않습니다. First, the arm length mud crab is broken down with a hammer. 껍질 너무 단단해서요. 거의 돌멩이하고 거의 비슷하다고 보시면 됩니다. 강도가. 그래서 저희가 손질을 해서 이렇게 깨서 요리를 하지 않으면 손님들이 드실 때 상당히 불편하죠. Place the prepared mud crab in the heated pan, add chili sauce, pepper powder and pepper oil and cook with vegetables. 예, 싱가포르 요리가 중화권의 영향을 많이 받아서요. 이 화법이나 불의 세기로 맛의 차이를 좌우하게 됩니다. Another way to alter the flavor other than by changing the temperature is to stir the ingredients with a ladle. 예, 이렇게 저어 주는 이유는요. 이 게살 안에 소스가 이렇게 잘 배이도록 하기 위해서고요. 한 10분 정도 이 강불로 줄여 주면 됩니다. Condensed milk and eggs make the texture of the food smoother. How did the tradition of chili crabs begin in Singapore? Chili crab의 유래는 굉장히 재미있어요. 1950년대에 East Coast 해변가에 한 아줌마가 남편이 잡아온 개를 가지고 어떤 요리를 만들까 연구하다가 만든 요리예요. Singapore's most representative dish is the chili crab. It reflects the country's cuisine, which boasts a mix of Malaysian and Chinese culinary cultures. 이번에는 싱가포르의 아주 매운맛 페퍼 크랩. The pepper crab is as popular as the chili crab. The crab cooked with plenty of pepper is a new experience for most taste buds. It brings a new flavor to the chili crab, being very spicy. The pepper crab offers both the rich and spicy taste of pepper. 
and also the savoury taste of crab. Countless dishes can be made with mud crab. Just add some spicy curry and you have the dry and spicy tasting curry crab. These are mud crab dishes enjoyed in Singapore. People mesmerised by mud crabs can barely wait for the dish to arrive and to dig in. Singapore's mud crab dishes are popular not only among Singaporeans but also the area's tourists. Excuse us, what makes this dish so delicious? One thing that's essential to Singaporean cuisine, which reflects various ethnicities and cultures, is its sauces. Singapore's varied sauces are based on many kinds of spices, and the wide spectrum of dishes created with these sauces is what makes Singaporean cuisine so unique. Watch out for flavours that change according to the sauce in Singaporean cuisine. <laughs> 어, 중국 요리에는 중국 소스가 있고 말레이시아 소스, 인도 소스, 서양의 여러 나라의 소스가 셀수 없을 정도로 많이 있습니다. In Singapore, you can find sauces from all over the world. The outcome of a dish depends almost entirely on these sauces. 싱가포르 요리의 특징을 꼽아 보자면 이 강한 향과 이 혀를 자극하는 맛이 있는데 이 맛을 제공하는 것은 이 소스에 있습니다. A mix of spicy chili sauce with sambal sauce. It's the Singaporean style chili sauce. And a pepper sauce made with real ground pepper. First, the red and spicy ingredients are mixed in appropriate portions and stir fried. Condensed milk and eggs are essential, but why is this, Chef? This is true Singapore-style chili sauce. It represents all the red spicy sauces in Singapore. It's two of them, but the chili sauce has a lot of tomato sauce and tomato sauce, so it can feel the taste of the sweet and pepper sauce can feel the taste of the sweet sauce. To make pepper sauce, you grind a generous amount of pepper, plenty of pepper, sugar and butter are cooked in a pan, and ta-da, you get pepper sauce. If chili sauce is more about the red spiciness, pepper sauce is really about a black spiciness. Well, then what do these unique Singapore-style sauces go with? Chili sauce and oil are very popular in Singapore. 그 중에서도 이제 미고랭이란 음식과 가장 잘 어울린다고 생각하십니다. Migoreng is a dish of stir-fried seafood, meat, vegetables and noodles. 미고랭의 미는 계란으로 만든 국수란 뜻이고요. 고랭은 뽕류란 뜻인데 싱가포르 사람들이 많이 찾는 대표적인 음식이라고 할수 있습니다. Eggs, seafood and vegetables are stir-fried in a pan. Add boiled noodles and sprinkle on the chili sauce. 면이 되게 약해서 잘 끊어지기 때문에 조심해서 볶아야 됩니다. The noodles are egg based, which means they can break easily. Fresh seafood and soft noodles deliciously cooked in spicy chili sauce. This is chili migoreng. 이번에는 페퍼 서로인 스테이크. The pepper sirloin steak has a unique Singaporean flavor compared to other sirloin steaks. 예, 일반 스테이크는 베미글라 소스를 이용해서 담백한 맛을 느낄 수 있는 반면에 싱가포르 스타일의 페퍼 스테이크는 독특한 향을 내기 때문에 느끼한 맛을 없애줄 수 있는 스테이크입니다. Refusing to taste ordinary, Singaporean style pepper sirloin steak is created with the help of spicy pepper sauce. It's a good example of the importance of sauces in Singaporean cuisine. Singapore's flavors are created by bringing together many cultures. What do these dishes, seasoned with Singapore's unique sauces, taste like?
기하지 않아요. 턱, 턱 쏘는 게 <웃음> 최고, 최고. 왜 우리 스트레스 쌓일 때 매운 거 먹고 싶잖아요. 그럴 때 먹으면 은 기분도 풀릴 것 같고 그러니까 은근히 땡기는 매운맛? 스트레스, 안녕. People often assume Singaporean cuisine is just a compilation of world cuisines. However, Singaporean food has its own unique color, and it entices as a global cuisine thanks to its strong and distinct flavors. Okay, we've got delicious and healthy food on today's Healthy Kitchen. Now let's meet today's chef. Today we have a veteran chef with 36 years of experience. He is Herbert Yusuf Klinkhammer. How are you doing, chef? Hey, Herbert, is it? Yes. Okay. Herbert, are you ready to get the show on the road today? Anytime. Well, then let's do it. Healthy Hedgy. Kitchen. You're not going to tell me what the uh, healthy ingredient of the day is, right? No, I don't think so. Really? Well, you know what? I've come prepared. I studied all day like yesterday. So you can hit me with the first hint if you want to. <laughs> I don't think you're going to get it. Really? Really? Then what's the first hint? You just pump your skin like that of crocodile. It's a top of green food. It's also called the butter of the forest and the fruit of life. It has a large seed in the middle, and it's the biggest seed I've ever seen. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait. It's a fruit, and it has a big seed in the middle? Yes. I'm sorry, Chef. I don't know what it is. Well, I'll give you, I'll spell it for you. Okay. A. A. B. V. O. O. Okay. Da, 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 da. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Where's the rest of the spelling? A B O dot 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 dot. Um. A B O C A D O. Avocado. That's right. Oh. Avocados originally come from Mexico, and they're a widely known nutritious fruit. Since this avocado is from Mexico, let's introduce the main ingredients a la Mexicano style. Is that okay with you? Really. Then let's get started. Okay, our first dish, mm -hmm. avocado, mm -hmm. obviously. Lime. Okay. And scallop. Scallop. And uh, second recipe? Second recipe is mm -hmm. avocado. Okay. Chicken. Chicken. And banana. Banana. What part of the chicken? Ch it's chicken breast. Chicken breast. Okay, then. Let's start cooking. Oi, ay, 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 ay. All these healthy dishes made with avocados, which will we try to make today? Stay tuned. We're first going to make an appetizer with avocados. Okay, so chef, for the people that are watching out there, how would you select a good avocado to cook? Well, a good avocado should be still a little bit firm, okay, not little. too soft. Okay. And uh, the color should turn slightly dark. There are some different types of avocados, though. Mm -hmm. Some, they stay green. Oh, they stay and green. And they are in good condition when they're green. Seems like we have some good avocados in our hands, right? Yes. Take a look at these. Looks pretty good. Oh, cool. Okay. <laughs> Do you yes. know how to cut an avocado? Um, I can try. I mean, how hard can it be? It's gonna cut an avocado. Well, so. it's difficult, but <laughs> you wanna give it a go? Look how I do it. Jake the master. No, 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 don't, no. Whoa. <laughs> See? Oh my god, how can you do that? Why? Well, I cut it, look, I cut it. Yeah, you cut the seed, you cut everything. Oh, uh, let me show how to do it. Okay, well. Take your hand. Put a knife until the seed, you can feel the seed, and then you just turn it around, 
Why do you cut it this way? I tell you why. Okay. And then you turn the avocado. Oh. And there wow. you have the seed. But how can I get this seed out? How? I'll show you. So you take the knife, you turn it, voila. Wow. Okay, so we're gonna we're spooning the avocado meat out of the avocado. So, so put it start? on the on the side. On the side, next yes. to the skin. And then you just go around. Go around. Follow the skin. Follow the skin around it. And scoop it out. Okay, well, you know, I mean, I'm a fast learner, so I could just... No, you're doing well. Excellent, wow, wow. excellent, fantastic. Chef, what is my name? Jake. Exactly. Come on. Jake, I mean... the avocado <laughs> specialist. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> A little bit smaller, so it's easier for the blender. For the blender, so you cut cut it in little pieces. You make life easy for the blender. Oh, okay, like it has a life of its own. <laughs> we'll add some lime juice because lime juice very important. Why is the lime juice important? Because otherwise the avocado will discolor, and oh. it enhances the flavor. Chopped garlic, and then we have a little bit of a chili. Little bit of chili. I Since just this... quickly. Chopped it around. Wow, oh, I just chop it around. How spicy can it be, you know? You know, I mean, how spicy. Ah! I'll be back, I'll be back, I'll be back. <laughs> <laughs> so then I chop a little bit of coriander. Coriander important for Mexican cooking. What is this? Chinese parsley or Chinese coriander. Parsley. Coriander. Or the Mexicans call it cilantro. 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 Oh, okay. So we put it in there as well. Parsley. And then... What is this? We add some chicken stock. Chicken stock. Chicken stock, Ooh. or you can use vegetable stock. Vegetable stock, okay. <laughs> Looks like wasabi paste. Hey, take a look. Doesn't it? Ooh. See how nice and runny it is? Oh, wow. We have, we have some tomato. Tomato cubes. Sour cream. Sour cream. Like you eat uh, tortilla or tacos or something like that. Mexican cooking. Matter of fact. So, but what we forgot? We forgot something. What do we forget? Scallops. All the scallops. Oh. You don't want to be too close to that now. So. And they cook very quickly, so. Oh, okay. Oh, that smells good. I would be hungry myself almost. I'm already hungry. Can we do this faster, uh, please? Jeez. You, you have to wait. You have to wait. Going right into the uh, avocado Isn't like a nice. Like a... We have the chilled avocado soup with grilled scallops, which offers a harmony of the fresh avocado and savory scallops. What happens when chicken breasts meet avocado? Chef, I've heard that avocados have many hidden charms. Is this true? Of course. They have many, many merits to get to speak of. Oh, really? Well, then, let's get to know the avocados just a little bit better, okay? Shall we? Sure. All right. So what's our first keyword of the day? The ransom of the king. The ransom of the king. Um, chef, how much does one of these avocados cost nowadays? Two to three dollars. Two to three dollars. So are you saying that uh, a king was worth two to three dollars back in the day? In 1519, mm -hmm. when Pizarro, the conqueror of Spain, came to Mexico, and the Aztecs uh, paid ransom with gold, silver, and avocados. Oh, wow. So avocados are up there with gold, silver, and jewelry. Yes, that's how expensive avocados used to be. That's wow. how valuable. It's pretty amazing. Yes. All right, now, time for the second keyword of the day. Guinness World Records. Guinness Book of World Records? What does this have to do with avocado, Chef? According to Guinness Book of Records, mm -hmm. avocados amongst 38 uh, fruits with most health benefits. Oh, wow. And uh, avocado have anti-aging. Anti-aging effects. And uh, health promoting effects. Oh, really? And if you eat avocado for 80 years, uh -huh. you grow old. 
Really? That's full. Cut a piece of red pepper. A quarter of a banana. A quarter you? of a banana, okay. Yes. This is called Capricornia. 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 Cape of Capricorn. I'm a in Capricorn. Aus in Australia, yeah. This is my food. Straight to the center. Straight to the center. It's like a like a pocket. So we put it in Yellow, here. red, and green. So then you need filling. Okay, it looks kind of difficult. So yes, it is very difficult. You need feeling for the filling. You need feeling for the filling. That was a good one, Herbert. Wow. Just a little bit of oil. It doesn't stick. Salt. You put some oil on Pepper. the foil. Yes. Wait, can I, can you, can you look? You put some oil, oil. on the foil. <laughs> okay. Wrap it tightly. Uh-huh. All right, close the lid. Chef, um, for the people that's watching, how many degrees do you have to put the oven to? Uh, 180, 200 degrees. 180, 200 degrees? On 15 to 20 minutes. 15 to 20 minutes? Yeah. <sighs> it's too cool. What are we going to do for 15, 20 minutes? I'm going to have a beer. You can sing. Whoa, 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 whoa. Jake does not sing. Penny, do I sing? I do? No, 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 no. I don't sing. Beat it. Ah. Beat it. Ah. No one wants to be defeated. Ah. Ah. Oh! <laughs> you will never see that ever in your life again. So, how is it? Okay. Ready? Oh, wow. Look at that. When are we gonna eat this beautiful piece of artwork? See? Vegetables? Lima beans. Normal gravy. Gravy, okay. Where we add some, uh, add a little bit of port wine. Red wine? Port, port. Port wine. I always love it when you put uh, alcohol. And smell. Wow. The red wine <sighs> makes a big difference. And I'm not saying that because I like red wine, because I do, but it doesn't smell like normal gravy. It smells really good. Wow. Around here. Ooh. So, and then the final touch. What is this, chef? It's a potato. A delicious union of avocado hugging chicken breast with a sweet and bitter sauce, accompanied by potato chips. We present the chicken breast Capricornia. Here we are with the two finished recipes. Ooh, it looks so good. Chef, before we eat this, do you have any um, special ways we can eat this? Well, normally with knife and fork. <laughs> <laughs> ha ha ha, funny. <laughs> mm. Wow. And it blends very well together. Blends perfectly together. Wow, that's fantastic. You look younger already. Yeah, it because does of work. the avocado. Wow. Oh. I eat them already since 50 odd years. Really? Mm. That's why you look like you're 20 when you're really. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. Let's, let's eat. Let's eat. Okay. Um, I feel like. Every single week, I'm receiving a very thoughtful and caring gift from the chefs. Every time I eat the food, and I'm so happy. Well, that's it for today's show, and I'll see you again next week. Come and try my food. Yes. Take care. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. <laughs>